I'm going to write an outline and novel in Obsidian this year. And this is the workflow that I'm using to make sure that I have an adaptable outline that works with me in the tool as I write this novel. So the tools that I'm finding uh, the most beneficial are two plugins, Metadata Menu and Data View. Uh, if we go into our Community Plugins tab, um, I can, I think a lot of you are familiar with Data View. It's just a way to create dynamic um, queries of your notes um, and put them into a list, a table, or a calendar view. Uh, but Metadata menu, menu is the one that you guys may not be as familiar with. So let me find it here. And here it is. So what metadata menu does in essence is it systematizes your metadata. Right now, if you're not using this, um, you can put metadata through any note in the front matter in line throughout your vault. Um, and there's no way really to, to wrangle it, right? Or to systematize it. Um, this allows you to do that. So let me, let me get into my use case here. So, <clears throat> Um, with metadata menu, you can create kind of file classes. So um, sub, sub uh, categories of your notes where metadata only works within those notes. And you can query just those classes. So you don't get like, let's say you're writing uh, notes with a hashtag character. Um, <clears throat> if you put them within the subclass of your novel, so hashtag novel slash character, and you know, the novel is actually the novel name then you're only going to get entries that reference the word character within that novel. You're not going to get the reference of character within some, some notes you've taken about some other literature you've read. It's really focused. Um, so what I've done here, um, the work and title of my novel is uh, The Flamingo's Fly. So I've created a master class called Flamingo. And within that, I've created subclasses for scene, setting, and character. So that way that when I do my queries of my metadata or add metadata, it's only in reference to these classes or these subclasses. So let's see how that works in actuality. So here's um, one scene that I'm writing, um, the first scene of my novel. Um, I've created this callout block here um, by using uh, typical callout syntax for info. Um, and I've put inline metadata here in an inline tag um, that I'm going to query uh, later on with data view. The reason I've done it in line is that it allows me to create hyperlinks um, to other notes um, as metadata. You cannot do that in front matter. That's very important because it creates <clears throat> a um, eventual scene outline that's dynamic. You can click on things and move around your novel um, with ease. So here, um, this is kind of all of the, uh, the inline metadata I put about the scene. I've created character, setting, notes, and order. Uh, so order in the novel, this, this will be the first one. And the notes file is just kind of my companion notes. When, you know, I'll put the prose for this uh, scene in this file, and I'll put kind of the, the meta notes somewhere else. But what I do here, this is where metadata menu comes in, is I don't um, manually put in all this metadata. You know, in this one, I might put setting, and another um, note, I might put settings with a, with a S, and get all crazy and, um, and nonconformist there. Instead, if I want to update the metadata to this note, I go to um, this button here, metadata menu field options, which I put custom, but in your command palette, you just go command P, metadata menu field options, which is going to take you to the, the same uh, menu that I get by clicking this option, this button here. So if I want to add a character um, within my novel, I just go to update character and I can pick from all of the current characters I have um, in this database. So let's say Shera is gonna be in the scene. I click him, I click add, and then in my metadata now, he appears at the, at the very end there. And because I'm using inline metadata, I formatted these all as clickable links. Um, if I undo, I think he's gonna disappear. Yes, he does. So going back into the menu, I can update any of the, the fields that I've created here. So I have a character one, a setting one, a notes one, an order one. Um, I can also add a field at the cursor um, or add a section. So if I go to section, it can be kind of anywhere. Um, I would probably add it on line seven here so it can be part of this metadata, I'm uh, sorry, this, uh, yeah, this metadata block I have here. So I have all of the ones I already have um, mapped, but I can also create a new one. So if I want to create a new one, I create a new field. So another one might be like uh, theme. So, and then I can put a field value um, so theme is sadness or something for this one. And I could hit enter and it automatically backfill. But when I'm creating uh, new fields, I don't do it this way. I actually do it a different way. 
So I go to manage scene file class fields, uh, display scene table view, and here are all of my um, file class fields. So character setting order notes, um, character is a multi-select for my characters, setting is a single select from the settings I have for the novel so far. <clears throat> Order is a number, so just one to you know one thousand. Just what order the scene is going to appear in the novel that it can change on the fly, um, and the notes is I have that map to just in being able to input a file, so I can search my vault for a file link and pop it in. If I want to create a new one, I can create a new file name, so it's called theme, um, and then here I can accept any value, accept a single value from a list, which I'm doing with my settings option. Uh, or accept multiple values from a list, um, which I'm doing with my characters. I can accept a link or multiple links, which is what I'm doing for that notes tab. Accept a number, do a true false statement, uh, dates, lookup queries, formulas. You can even map in Canvas, but I think that the, the Canvas features are a bit, um, a bit of a gimmick at the moment. So uh, there you go. Um, let me go back to my outline. What else do I want to talk about here today? Oh, and now the PS lib resistance. You know, what does this look like in a table? So let me go to my um, my uh, master note for my novel, which is right here. Um, I've got a bunch of a uh, bunch of outlines mapped out here that I can um, that I can work in. My master outline is uh, the flamingo scenes. So if I go into here, here you have it. So these are the four scenes I, I'm working on for my novel right now. Um, in this data view query, you can take a look. Um, so I've got the scenes. I've got the order of the scene, which is dynamic in each file. Um, this is the first scene. This is the second scene. And these ones I've just put 99. So they appear at the bottom and not at the top. I don't know where they're going to go. Um, here are all the characters I've mapped to. Here are the settings I've mapped to. So if I hit command, I can, that one's not created yet, but this one's created. So I can basically go there and just look at the setting a little bit. Um, and if I hit command, I can look at the notes for this chapter, command, and I can kind of read the chapter here. Um, and then I can look at each of these characters. So happy, there's a picture of happy. Um, and I can kind of look at them um, in context. So if I go back to my hub, I can also see this from different views uh, by, by just using different data view queries. queries. So my characters one um, is basically a different view of that same uh, the same metadata from my my scene tag, um, but I just use characters as the grouping and then I flatten the character. So now here, this is a different way to look at your novel. I have every single character so far in my novel and the scenes they appear in, right? If I go back, I did the same thing with settings. These are all the settings in my novel and then the scenes they appear in. And it's similar to that um, query that I use for my character. So every time I update something um, in kind of my my scenes uh, class of files um, with new uh, with uh, new scenes, new characters, new settings. All of those queries are going to update in the background, um, and then you can even uh, like I've done here, um, you can create other classes. So I also have a character class. If I go into my characters, the one that I'm using right now is Happy. So I go in here's Happy. Um, I can throw in a new field. Uh, manage character field class files. Yeah, let's go here. So all class. So I want to create. So let's say um, uh, what's a good one? Age. And I can accept a number here. So don't care about any of that. There we go. So I have age here, ready to go. So here's happy. Um, if I want to add uh, something at a section in three, I can add age, and happy is going to be I don't know six years old. Um, pop in there. So there he is. Um, just for my own sake, I'll put him into the, the code block there. So it's hidden. So they're happy he's got an age now. Um, then I can go into my uh, my hub. Uh, in my characters um, MOC here, I can actually create a, um, a new data view query. <clears throat> but instead of using the uh, the, the, the scene tag, I can use a, a character tag. So there you go. It auto completes the flamingo character. Uh, and here, um, my in my table, I actually want character and I want age. Um, there you go. And I think I can get rid of all this. And there you go. So I've got my character happy 
And oh, actually, I don't need the character one because the character is the uh, the title of the note. So I've got the file happy, and then I've got his age as six. Um, and now this age uh, metadata field isn't going to appear all throughout my vault. Um, it's only going to show up as an option within the flamingo field class for my novel, and then within the character field class. So if I go into my my scene. Um, so these are the field classes for my scene notes. There's no age in there. It's it's superfluous. I don't, I don't care about my, my scenes don't have an age, only my characters do. So when I go and create a um, uh, new character class notes, that's where I want age to appear. And that's where that's the only place that will appear unless I map it out further. Um, anyway, that's a quick run through of uh, how I'm outlining this novel. Hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, uh, leave me a comment below. Um, if you're enjoying this, uh, give me a follow. We'll see you next time. Peace.